Here we are back once again, your uh, resident sweaty adventurer here back in the Philippines. Today we're coming to explore Fort Santiago. I was, uh, I came prepared this time a little bit. I looked at a little bit of information online before I got here so that I might actually have a few things to say. So the fort here built in 1592 if I remember correctly originally for the Spanish so they can um, put their trade routes and to sort of protect their government. Um, some time passes. I don't know how much I actually completely forgot. But have a look at this view just real quick. Absolutely stunning. Some nice music in the background that I hope I'm not going to get in trouble for. But um, So yeah, we're heading toward the, I assume is the main entrance for the fort here, but, right, where was I going with that story, that's right, um, was after that, during some other war, which I've already forgotten all the information for, but was uh, taken by the British for a little while, and then returned back to the Spanish. After that, there was, it was taken by the Americans, then handed back to the Spanish. And then finally, during World War II, it was taken by the Japanese, where they were using it as a, kind of like a prisoner of war camp. So it looks like probably not a lot of nice things happened here. But now, upon, oh look at this. Yeah, if I'm uh, coming to attack you with swords and bows, it does look like a little bit of a deterrent there. But where was I? Yes, finally in the independence for the Philippines, it was handed over to them and is now used as, I guess, a tourist place. But we're gonna go and explore it today. Hopefully I'm not gonna get too sweaty and disgusting because I'm not wearing a particularly breathable shirt, so I could end up looking like a puddle at the end of this. But here's the wall. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, it's hot. So yeah, you can imagine if you don't have anything, if you're just a person, you're probably not gonna be getting over this wall. I don't know if you can see for comparison, but you know, I'm six foot tall. There's no chance I'm getting on that wall. Here it is. Welcome Fort Santiago. Got all these stone carvings on the wall. Looks like the Spanish. There's the, some kind of coat of arms. And another one here. Oh, let's go inside. There's a really nice breeze right now, which is absolutely a godsend for me. I'm too, my blood is too thick for these sort of countries. We have very low humidity at home, so it's just absolutely crazy for me. This place is cool though. It is a lot cooler temperature wise, but I mean, it looks absolutely amazing as well. I'm gonna go up here. I think to all the moss growing over everything just makes it look, look so, I don't want to say run down, mystical, mystical is the word I'm looking for. Look at that, there's a tree, I wondered like I wonder if that tree came here naturally, like just a wind, uh, a seed blown in the wind or whether or not, oh, I just slipped over on some moss, or whether or not it was uh, actually put there on purpose to give it a bit of, I don't know, looking at that, there's a few trees up here, 
I imagine they were planted on purpose. I come to a amazing historical fort and here I am wondering how the tree got there. Priorities, am I right? We've got a cannon. So you can just imagine being here. How many years ago is it now? What, four or five hundred years ago? And standing atop this on your probably 20 hours shift standing up here just keeping an eye out waiting for somebody to come with hundreds and hundreds of their friends to try and take your fort so I guess these little enclaves were there for shooting bows out of I don't know it looks different, like, you know, there's not that big of a drop from this side. Maybe, hang on, I'll see if I can show you. So can you see? I don't know if you could see that or not, but the drop on the other side doesn't actually look like it's that big. So, I don't know, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was actually built up from when it was originally built because have a look. Ah, uh, no, look, you can still see. Still a big drop. You know, maybe it has become a little bit less over time. And I don't think this golf course was here before. That was stupid. It was a dumb joke. nice little courtyard so I'm hoping stand over this puddle I'm hoping that the dungeons are open apparently that's one of the really interesting things to look at here but I did have a look online yeah I had a look online and the I, I think the dungeons maybe don't open until 2 p.m currently, I don't know what I'm looking at, I'm not wearing a watch, but it's currently about 12.30, so I don't like our chances of getting into the dungeons, but we'll try our luck anyway, if I can ever find them, I'm sort of walking on the top now, another little courtyard down there. wonder if that's built afterwards. So I imagine the fort itself was just built. And then maybe the courtyards came after. I don't know. I should have probably done a little bit more research before coming here. But it's hard to remember a lot of things. So I just tried to focus on the main details about who who was controlling it when it was built. Got a statue. Don't know who this fella is, but undoubtedly he'd be someone important. Here we go. Another nice view. I think we're gonna get, if we're lucky, I think if we go over here, we might even find a nice view of the river. Here I am getting distracted again. Hold on. What do we got down here? I don't know. Let's go exploring. I think that takes us down there to this little courtyard. Oh, but yes. We're gonna go find it. You probably already just saw the river. And I've just ruined my big reveal. <sighs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this game. Okay, here it is. The proper big reveal for the river. I think this is called the Pasig River. I'm not sure. 
I saw it on the map earlier. So it's just off the top of my head. Look at all the green. What is it? Just random plants. Don't know where that all comes from. Or if it's like broken, or if it, that's just how it naturally grows. Like a, what do you call it? Like a nomadic, um, nomadic traveling plant. And I talk about some of the strangest stuff in these videos. Here I am, a beautiful thought, and I'm caught up talking about planes. Oh, this is nice as well. This place is absolutely beautiful. So from where I'm staying, it was probably six kilometers away from where I'm staying near the SM Mall. Probably cost me about 300 pesos to come down here. Not too bad if catching a grab. Here we go, another look of the a little bit closer of these plants on the river. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to title this video River Plants, not Fort Santiago, huh? There you go. So, put that down there. This might be one of the dungeons. Don't see anything. Let's just put you down there. <laughs> That's a good thing about having a uh, walking around talking to a camera on a stick sometimes you can get to those little nooks and crannies that not many other people can get to here it is I found the dungeons there it is check it out dungeons of Fort Santiago built 1599 converted to a prison facility 600 decomposing corpses discovered in by the US Army from the Japanese forces mm. That's uh, perfect. Yeah, look, I'll be honest. When it comes to this sort of morbid, um, morbid exploration, I'm happy to do these sort of things, but I'm definitely not gonna be bringing the camera inside. Like, I'm, 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 I apologize to everyone that's watching, but it's sort of, when you're dealing with these heavy topics, I feel like it's somewhat disrespectful for me to be coming in and, you know, talking to a camera and trying to get reactions to things. It just sort of feels wrong. So, unfortunately, you're gonna probably have to come here yourself if you wanna go and check out these dungeons. I'll go and have a look at them later, but maybe I can, uh, have a chat about them, have a little bit of a description, but we'll see how we go. It's just, yeah, I don't feel comfortable bringing the camera in there. What's this? There's a sign over there, let's find out. The thing I love about this country as well too, is that, cause you know, you'll probably get a daily rainfall, so. Everything is always beautiful and lush and green. Very often you'll find that in Australia, because it can be quite dry, it's, uh, we'll find that the grass is often dead, brown or yellow. So it's not as nice. Everything's always lush and beautiful. Raja Sliman. Wow, I probably just butchered that. Theatre. Let's have a look. Hmm. Like a theater, like, like performing arts. Hold on, sorry. Let's go back. We're gonna have a look at that. We're gonna have another look at this just real quick. Find out what they we're actually looking at. Constructed as a military barrack, ba -ba 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 barracks. School for petty officers, side of the chapel. Destroyed during the Second World War. Ruins converted to an outdoor theater known as the. Okay, that doesn't give me. Too much to work on but 
I, I guess it's a performing arts theater. You know, when you've got a whole fort full of people to look after, got to keep them entertained. Very nice. I don't see where, I guess this would be the stage here. Maybe down there is where they would put seats for people to get ready. Here I am performing to nobody. Just like my YouTube channel. I'm joking. I appreciate every one of you. Look, um, yeah. I can't believe how much the channel has actually grown since I started it probably two, two and a half months ago. To get where I am already, I'm extremely grateful because uh, I put a lot of work into making the videos, but I don't do it for, you know, it's not the reason I don't want to, you know, I don't expect everybody to be super excited and watch everything all the time and you know millions of subscribers and all of that I just enjoy doing this too so I've traveled for most of my life but I've never actually captured video of it all what do we got here shrine of Jose Rizal that must be the person who the park is named after also which we're going to be going to so here's the shrine Don't know what part the shrine is exactly, but maybe it's this? No, I don't know. Maybe the shrine is gone. But it's a very nice area nonetheless. It's crazy to think that this is all 500 years old. It's all still standing. I mean, mostly still standing. And still, they must do a pretty good job of restoration of the place as well too because certain parts I think they keep all the original buildings really you know um, as original as they can but then when you've got these little parts in the middle where it's all completely new and looks lovely but I think we've almost just about seen everything now but there's one piece up here we're gonna go have a look It's starting to begin. I'm getting soggy. After this, I'm gonna have to go find somewhere and dry off for a little bit. You'd think after all this time, I'd start getting used to the weather by now. No. Nope. Having to go through like six liters of water a day, it's crazy. Just another little courtyard. What a nice garden, let's check it out. So, after my encounter near the San Andreas market, my normal, the normal thing I do is just kind of wander off and get lost. But I think here, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more structured. Cause I still don't know if he was joking or not, but the last thing I want is to end up somewhere I shouldn't be. I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it's very nice. How long have we been going? No idea. The camera turns itself off. Turns out this whole time I've just been talking to nobody. The camera overheated. <laughs> oh, please, no. <laughs> I think this courtyard looks as good a place as any to end our video today. I hope I covered everything. I think I did. If I didn't, tell me down below how I'm stupid and like, like missed the most important part of the port. Because I tend to do that. I'll go somewhere and just aimlessly wander. And then next thing you know, 
I, turn, I missed the most exciting part of the entire place. Here you go, there's a little statue over there as well, which we can see. It looks like a man holding a gun, clutching some bricks. This place is beautiful anyway. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I say I'm going to end the video and then I just get distracted finding little things. What is this? Looks like it once was a security security booth. Very nice. One last look at the beautiful plants on the river. The nomadic traveling plants. And this is where we're going to end it. I'm going to go dry off. Maybe explore the dungeons. Maybe I can put something uh, in the description if I end up making it to the to the dungeons. I can tell you a little bit about them in there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, which will be hopefully very soon. The typhoons died down a little bit, so I'm actually able to go out again. The first few days, I could sort of have an hour or two to wander around and do things, but then great sound effects, lightning, thunder, it just all mayhem. So I'll see you in the next one.